Hi guys! Ngayon pag-usapan na natin yung part 2 ng debt management. Diba sa part 1, uh, pinag-usapan natin yung about sa uh, understand debt, understand the debt reality, and we also discuss, pinag-usapan din natin na magkaroon, kailangan natin magkaroon ng strong desire to get out of debt. So, dito sa part 2, pag-uusapan naman natin how we can overcome the natural men. Bakit yung pagiging natural men is, is um, isa itong dahilan kung bakit tayo nalulubog sa utang or bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng utang. So, pag-uusapan natin yung overcome the natural men sa part 2. Sa part 2 is all about how we can overcome the natural men that we have. So guys, in the Book of Mormon, King Benjamin taught in the Mos- in uh, Mosiah chapter 3 verse 9, for the natural man is an enemy to God. So what does it mean? No? What does it mean to put off the natural man? So, I want you guys to watch about this marshmallow experiment na connection dito sa natural men na i-discuss natin dito sa part 2. Began a modest experiment testing the willpower of four-year-old children. He placed before them a large marshmallow and then told them they could eat it right away or if they waited for 15 minutes or so, They could have two marshmallows. He then left the children alone and watched what happened behind the two-way mirror. Some of the children ate the marshmallow immediately. Some could wait only a few minutes before giving in to temptation. Only 30% were able to wait. What started as a simple experiment with children and marshmallows became a landmark study suggesting that the ability to wait, to be patient, was a key character trait that might predict later success in life. Based dun sa napanood natin, no, dun sa marshmallow experiment sa mga bata, what does it mean to put off the natural man? Okay guys, to put off the natural man, yung pagiging natural man natin, we must remember the principles we learned from marshmallow experiment about maintaining a long-term perspective sa sa pagka, sa kagustuhan natin makawala sa pagkakautang or to become a deaf free. So we need to focus on that uh, long-term perspective na magiging debt-free tayo. So, to put off uh, the natural men, like the children in the marshmallow experiment, we need to learn to delay short-term pleasures in order to reach long-term goals. So, ano ba yung mga natural uh, men tendencies na, na we, are, we can consider, no? The natural men tendencies uh, include impulsive and emotional spending ignorance or carelessness about our financial reality and third is coveting yung naiinggit tayo and yung we compare ourselves to others kaya nababaon din tayo sa sa utang dahil dito sa mga natural men na na inaalaw natin kung bakit tayo na nababaon sa utang kasi Naiinggit tayo. We used to compare uh, yung sarili natin sa iba na dapat kung ano nakikita natin sa iba, kailangan, natin, kailangan meron din tayo yung pagiging ignorance and carelessness natin sa financial na situation natin. Yung pagiging impulsive uh, and emotional uh, spender natin. Ito yung mga, na, ito yung mga natural men na we have that can cause us... Uh, debt or yung pagka ito yung nag nag uh, ito yung mga ka, ito yung dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkakautang 
So guys, yielding to the natural man, yung pagiging natural man natin, will likely lead us to death and financial stress. Gaya na nga nang sabi ko, kung pairalin natin yung pagiging natural na men natin, it will lead us to death and financial stress. So let's look more closely at some of these uh, tendencies of, an, of the natural man in the context of being a self-reliance. So yung una na, na nabanggit ko dun sa, dun sa natural man tendencies is impulsive and emotional spending. So I want you to ponder this guys. When was the last time you made an expensive impulsive purchase? What was it? How could you have used that money more effectively for something else? We all we all have uh, likely made an impulsive an impulsive or emotional purchase. Minsan kung tayo ay um, galit, ba? Or we feel discouraged. Sometimes we spend money when we feel discouraged or angry. Ito, kung ka, ito yung mga kadalasan na, na experience natin. Ito yung emotional spending. Ito yung uh, cause kung bakit nagkakaroon din tayo ng impulsive uh, buying. Another reason is uh, sometimes we spend money because we feel that we are entitled to reward ourselves. Lalo na kung ikaw yun, di ba? Kasa, um, kadalasan, ito yung nirarason natin sa sarili natin, that we are entitled to reward ourselves. Pinagpaguran ko tong pera na to, so ano, lang, ano naman kung bilhan ko yung sarili ko ng ganito or ng ganyan na deserve ko na maka, na bumili ng bagong damit, bagong sapatos or bagong gadget or deserve ko na magkaroon magkaroon ng vacation. Ito yung mga possible na na, na kung saan we made an impulsive and emotional purchase or we spend money because we uh, let our being natural men no dictate yung Para magkautang tayo, di ba? Pinairal natin yung pagiging natural men natin. I work hard. I deserve to have this. Di ba? We, are enti- we feel that we are entitled to reward ourselves. Another thing is sometimes a sale or promotion tempt us into believing we need something wherein we really don't. So guys, there are many reasons about why we spend money on things we don't really need at the expense of paying for the things that matter most. So guys, let's have a 10 minutes activity regarding this um, natural man na, na topic natin. So dito sa activity nito, yung step 1, take a few minutes to evaluate your emotional spending habits by responding to the following questions. Pagkatapos, after you have filled out the questionnaire, pair up with your spouse or siblings, kung sino man yung kaklose mo na nakapatid mo, or sa close friend mo, makipag-pair uh, up ka para ma-evaluate mo kung ano ba yung cause nung uh, impulsive and emotional spending habit mo. So, this is just take 10 minutes. So, let's have a... a pa- pen and notebook I, or screenshot nyo yung questionnaire then evaluate nyo yung sarili nyo so ito yung first part ng uh, question no, ng questionnaire how do you feel when you spend impulsively check all that apply do you feel alone do you feel generous mad bored happy sad excited distressed hungry tired or underappreciated. So, i-check nyo yung whatever applies na, na ano yung napapansin nyo no, every time you do the impulsive buying or impulsive spending. Then, next part of the questionnaire na nasasagutin nyo, what do I spend on when I spend impulsively? 
check nyo ulit, check all that apply. Ano ba yung, saan nyo ba pinaggagastusan yung pera nyo? Is it for entertainment, clothing, dining at restaurant, gifts, travel, home furnishing or decoration, electronics devices or accessories, snacks and beverages. I-check nyo para magkaroon kayo ng evaluation after nyo gawin lahat to. Do the step 2 mamaya. So, last part ng uh, question ng questionnaire is, who am I with when I spend? Is it with your spouse? Is it with your children? With your co-workers? With your friends? With or nobody? Or you're just alone? Para sa ganun, ma pag alam mo kung sino yung, yung lagi mo nakakasama whenever you do spending, uh, impulsive in spending, Iwasan mo, iwasan mo kung sino yung mga nakakasama mo dun para iwas impulsive uh, or emotional spending. Diba, pagkasama mo yung asawa mo, kung sakaling yung, yung asawa mo yung nakakasama tuwing ginagawa mo to, iwasan mo muna. Or yung mga anak mo, iiwan mo, iipa, iiwan mo sa asawa mo or sa kapatid mo or sa co-workers mo, iwasan mo na. Sa mga kaibigan mo, iwasan mo muna. Or kung... You do spend when you are alone, magsama ka dun sa tao na kaya kanyang kontrolin para hindi mo magawa yung um, impulsive and emotional buying or emo- impulsive and emotional uh, spending. So guys, after nyo nasagutan yung mga questionnaires na yun, three, three questionnaires na yun, i-discuss nyo to dun sa partner nyo. Diba? Yung step 2. Yung step 1, uh, you respond to the following questions. Diba? Ngayon, step 2 na gagawin nyo after you have filled out those questionnaire. Like what I've said before, pair up with your spouse or siblings, close siblings or close friends and discuss uh, the following. What are some patterns you notice related to emotional or impulsive spending? Para sa ganun, alam mo kung ano yun dapat mong iwasan. What can you do to protect you from yourself? How can you overcome tendencies to make impulsive purchase? What have you done in the past to overcome such impulse? So, magkaroon kayo ng group discussion or ng partner discussion sa asawa mo or sa close na kapatid mo or close friend. So, second, dun sa natural, natural, um, Natural men tendencies includes uh, ignorance or carelessness about our financial situation. Dito sa second, no, sa ignorance or carelessness about our fina- financial reality, I want you to ponder the following questions. Why are some inclined to ignore the reality of their financial situation? How can you overcome being past feeling about your financial situation if you need to? So in 2nd Nephi, sa Book of Mormon, no? in 1st Nephi, I mean, in 1st Nephi chapter 17 verse 45, it talks about the past feelings. Our choices can often harden our heart, making it difficult to feel the promptings of the Holy Ghost when we're must change. Sometimes, being past feeling may cause us to choose to ignore the reality of our situation. Especially, no, especially if we avoid tracking our expenses or looking at our bank account. So, na-experience natin yung pagiging careless sa, sa financial uh, situation natin or we used to do the past feeling dito. Kasi, we're not tracking our expenses. So, we don't care whatever yung, yung hindi mo alam na kung malaki na ba yung, yung gastos mo or you spend more than sa naasahan mo na, na sahod. Or you're not looking yung bank account statement mo or yung bank account balance mo. Sige lang, bili ka ng bili, spend ka ng spend. Diba? Nagkakaroon ka na ng ignorance or carelessness about your financial situation by not tracking or avoiding tracking your expenses or avoiding looking at your bank account. 
So another reasons why sometimes being past feeling may cause us to choose or to ignore the reality of our situation is when or if we use credit cards or other consumers credits this carelessness can quickly lead us into debt or can quickly lead you into debt so the last and third uh, natural man tendencies is coveting and comparing ourselves to others coveting is yung pagiging inggit inggitera ganun na may inggit tayo kung ano yung nakikita natin dapat meron tayo we used to compare ourselves hindi tayo contento kung ano meron tayo kaya kaya yung pagiging inggit and 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 comparing yourself can lead you also to um unwise spending of your money Giving, uh, giving into coveting can quickly lead us to make unwise purchase. I want you to ponder this, guys. How can we overcome the tendencies to compare ourselves with others? It is natural for people to compare themselves with others and encouraging and, um, I mean, it is natural, diba? It is natural for people to compare themselves with others. And we are bombarded with messages and advertisements encouraging us to purchase things we do not need. Sometimes we feel entitled to have, the, to have things that we can't afford or don't really need. That's why, gaya na sabi ko kanina, giving into a coveting or yung pagiging ingit, can quickly lead us to make unwise purchase. So, yung tatlo na napag-usapan natin about sa pagiging natural men, uh, ngayon alam na natin yung mga natural men na dapat nating iwasan. At uh, na-discuss ko din dito kung how can we overcome, how can we uh, able to overcome these three uh, natural men tendencies na yung pagiging impulsive and emotional spending, ignorance or carelessness, carelessness about our financial reality, coveting and comparing ourselves to others. I hope this part 2 of debt management help you a lot to um, to uh, manage your debt or para ma- hindi na madagdagan yung utang or hindi na kayo magkakaroon pa ng utang or hopefully this uh, discussion or this video helps you a lot guys please um apply whatever you have learned here and i really thank you guys whoever watching my videos and i really thank you for watching it and i hope that my video gives a um, a lot of uh, information that can able to help you manage your debt wisely dito sa part 2 na to so thank you thank you very much for watching my video of part uh, dito sa part 2 ng debt management again kung nakatulong tong video na to in managing your debt don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and click nyo na din yung like button share this with your loved ones kung Kung nakatulong sa inyo at naga, nagustuhan nyo yung laman ng video na to, don't forget to share it with your uh, loved ones and friends. Like what I always say, sharing is caring. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video, the part 3 of uh, debt management. Bye!